Building a nationally recognised restaurant from scratch is an amazing achievement. And to do it when you had no skills having finished AFL football approximately 30 years ago makes it even more amazing. I'm here to discuss with Gary Baker how he's done that. Thanks for joining me, Gary. It's always a pleasure, Charles. Bakes, what was the, what was the thing that ignited the spark in you to, to start in the restaurant game? Well, Charles, uh, you know, I was a boy from Langatha down in Gippsland and we used to milk cows, that's all we saw down there. And I left school at 15, uh, played football. When my footy was finished, Charles, I thought, what do I do? We played footy for nothing back in those days. You know, Charles, I felt that I had to go out and buy my own job. I was a good people's person. I thought, what better thing to get into than the old pub, mate? So I started off in the pub and then progressed into cafe bars and here I'm in restaurants. Gary, you've run a number of successful businesses over the years since I've known you. What's been the secret of that success? Well, Charles, I think if you just treat people the way that you'd like to be treated yourself, that is the great success. What I liked in life, I liked having a beer, I liked going to nightclubs, as a young fella, and then as I matured, I liked to go and have a nice meal. So I tried to always set up what I liked, and I think if I liked it, 80% of people liked it, so the market was always at least 80% Charles. So I just worked on that theory that you give something to the people that you like, and if you're that sort of person, everyone else likes it as well. Working full time in the business, how do you manage to keep track of everything? Your business is only as good as the people you've got working for you. So I try and get people that work for me that enjoy my company and I enjoy their company. And if you can get that little liaison happening, everyone's happy at the end of the day. I've got a great partner, Susan, in not only business but in life as well. She is a very experienced worker as well in the, in the hospitality industry. In your view, what's the best way to achieve long-term success, both in business and also financially? Well, long-term success from my experience, Charles, is, is having a goal and sticking to it and, and, and just doing the best you can, mate, you know? And if, if the industry you're in actually suits you, well, leave no stone unturned. And if you do that and do it well, mate, well, success will just follow you. So you're, you're a semi-professional sportsman for around 15 years and my footy coach at one stage, uh, Gary. We had a lot of success together, Charles. We did a lot of fun too. We did. How did you manage to link those skills into running a business full time? Well, I, you know, you can really link them both together, Charles. You know, the things that I learned about not only as a player from the coaches that taught me um, the rights from wrongs, uh, but also from, from uh, you know, a player and, and when I become a coach myself, I relate that to my staff because there's not a lot of difference between running a business with 20 odd staff and when I actually went out and coached football and from the things that I learned from my coach that I passed on to my players, I actually passed the similar things on to my staff, you know, and if, if they all take that on board, all of a sudden you've got a great team there's time to play after work, there's time to play before work, but when you come in, be prepared to work. And we all end up getting the success, hopefully, that we want. And, and that's just pretty simple secret, Charles. Okay, thanks for your time. It's uh, an interesting story of someone really working hard in what is a very competitive industry. And, uh, you know, Charles, you talk about outside the square, and I remember when you come to my football team when I coached one time and you played at a certain position all year and one day, which was called the grand final, we thought <laughs> outside the square and we, I remember having a meeting with you and we put you outside the square in a position you'd never played in all year and what happened, Charles? Not only did we win the premiership, you got best on the ground, mate, so always think outside <laughs> the square. Well done, Charles. Thanks, Gary. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to, uh, to contact us.